I'm Jocelyn Shaw, Head of Policy at the British Safety Council. I'm sitting with two managers who have helped play their part in the delivery of the London 2012 project to talk to them about their experiences and insight from an environmental perspective. I think uh, there's, there's a, the world is at a changing point, quite literally at the moment, and if we don't do anything about it, it's only going to uh, become worse. And so there is a real need out there to change the way we work, to change the way we use materials, and to make them far more beneficial to the environment and far more effective. For me, uh, good environmental management on site starts really with the bond between the client and the organisation that's performing the work. So it's not just something that's left to the environmental manager to do, and the rest of us can get on with the day job. It's actually something that's integral in everything that, uh, that everyone does on the project. It's a, a balance between those competing uh, priorities on the construction level and those on a, a project management level. I believe that good environmental management is part of the planning of the process. It has to be on board at a very early stage. For our organisation, I think the key lesson for me is, is being able to get involved as early as possible. Uh, we, we managed to we had a target twenty percent of the reuse of materials on our contract and achieve forty nine percent at the end of the day, which was primarily achieved through engaging with our supply chain early, and then being able to bring them to the table with the client and his designers as well. Uh, one of the key lessons that we've learned is uh, sharing information with other contractors. Um, and able to keep that communication flowing with all parties so that we're not reinventing the wheel when it comes to environmental information. And I think if you have the, the right culture, it also means that people are open. Uh, particularly for us with environment, it's, it's essential that we increase just the awareness to start with, certainly at the beginning of the programme. And that revolves around reporting near misses, making sure that people are constantly keeping their eyes open out on site. We can then act on those, explain to people why we're acting and how we're acting. And that just started to develop the conversation between the workforce, the supply chain, uh, our management team, engineers. The biggest legacy we can leave is really addressing the challenge that we have in changing specifications. Our specifications have been tried and tested over a huge number of years to uh, actually invest in research and development and understand how we can change our specifications to embed what we know is some really good practice but we're just struggling to uh, use throughout the industry. I don't think the Olympics needs to be unique. One of the risks I see is, is that knowledge being lost as contractors then disseminate throughout the country on new projects. The biggest change that we can make is really reinforcing the message and providing specific examples of where good environmental management can actually benefit the, the, uh, the project commercially. And as soon as you can do that, then not only do the senior line managers pay attention, but then also the, the clients as well. And that can be very powerful. I'd like to say thank you to both Kirsty and to Thomas for taking time to talk with us and share their experiences and lessons learned from the London 2012.